Alright, fine. One more ball. Bring it down. And there we go. I don't even know if it's possible to hit all the guys in one shot. It might be programmed that way, so you need at least two balls to get through to the next side. I'm not sure. Yeah, but this game is pretty direct. I mean, anyone who's looking for a good beam katana game, they should probably check this one out. I really wish... I'll tell you why I wish I had more time with the PlayStation Move. It's because I'm not sure if they're going to do similar like we where the controls of motion are not so big, it's not the main thing that you have to worry about. What you have to worry about, oh, so you can shoot fireballs like this. That's what I'm doing in that mode. Nice. I'm about to catch these balls, buddy. Ah, you can't, because they're hot Russian balls of fury fire. Ah, it is beautiful. Yeah, and all this, uh, this gore and bloodshed, I mean, it's really, it's very satisfying. It's this good thing to do after a hard day's work, maybe. You know, you, you're tired of working in the office, you had a, a long traffic ride home, you get home, you turn on No More Heroes on PlayStation 3, and, uh, or on the Wii, whatever serves your purposes, and then you just hack and slash away. It gives my fuckers. So anyway, it's kind of good that it didn't really hinge on mainly motion. But I'm wondering if Suda51 changed that for the PlayStation 3. You know, having a couple more years to work on the title, in theory. Because they did make new levels, new bosses and things like that. I'm just wondering if they made it more about the motion. So if anybody gets this for the PS3 and to tell me who's got move, I'd be very appreciative, comrades. Comment below. Yeah, because I'm I'm attacking them initially, like you see here, with the A button. It's only the quick time events where I have to slash my Wii remote back and forth, and then we just have to waggle back and forth. It's only then does motion play into account. Otherwise, it's a little underused. Oh, you want to charge your sword? Oh, what's up with camera angles here? Hmm. Can't even get the time to charge my sword. Eh, but I'll defeat your tradition. Seems definitely that in No More Heroes 1. Whoa, you shoot shadow balls from your sword. It would seem definitely in No More Heroes 1 the charge up time is a lot less. Or it's a lot easier to waggle around the Wii Remote. Maybe in No More Heroes 2 they made it more of a jack off type of motion that you have to do onto your Wii Remote. In which flailing like an idiot with your Wii Remote will not suffice anymore. So this could be looked at as sort of the negative... Oh, I'll get on that after the call. From the Wii Remote Speaker. Back to that Garden of Madness she was speaking of. So this is where uh, No More Heroes can kind of be seen as um, a disappointment in the lack of story. Is the lack of story. They're the only thing compelling about getting through. By the way, the bathroom is always a safe point. The only thing compelling about getting through this level is getting to the end to the boss. But sometimes Pebbles will argue that uh, it's just not enough motivation. 
It's not enough motivation without any kind of uh, compelling characters or anything like that, but I tell you, for those of you who are more RPG fans, give this game a chance because, uh, you know, it's, it's really fun. It's really a lot of fun. It is loads and loads of entertainment, and uh, it is. It's some, sometimes you, you just want to get simple entertainment. Sometimes the simplest of entertainment can be the best. You don't have to get caught up in uh, annoying storylines that can sometimes get up their own asses. And getting to the boss challenge, well, trust me, that's enough motivation. Nice set of pipes. Too bad I've got to slash them out. Nice set of pipes you got there. Oh well, it's man. funny. It has always been my dream to perform in a stadium such as this. The gentleman from the association told me I could have any stage I wanted today. How could I refuse such a kind offer? <laughs> Courtesy of me and my entry fee, no doubt. My ex-wife called me the other day, and I met my daughter for the first time in ten years. We dined at a fancy restaurant, one of those that are impossible to get a reservation for. And then afterwards, karaoke. Who got you the reservation? The association took care of it, of course. Fuck. My entry fee. What's important is not the fact the reservations are hard to get. In fact, no one gets reservations. The words reservations only apply only to those outside of the circle. It's getting into that circle that matters. And the food. Good? Unfortunately, the atmosphere was a facade. Not once did my own daughter look me in the eye. Oh, the food. Tasted like blood. You're a junkie. You're a junkie for blood, old man. Sadly, I can't disagree. There's only one way to live. Yeah, that's so true. People like us, we're sharks attracted to blood. You smelled blood too, didn't you? Isn't that why you're here? You got it, old man. You got it, old man. And for some reason, I feel this sense of euphoria. Don't die on me too quickly. I want to gorge myself on this sense of fulfillment till I vomit. Man, this is what I live for. Fighting your own kind. Nothing's more gratifying. See you on the other side. Exploding bullets! This guy has to be the Russian mole I knew back in the Soviet Union. He's gonna charge up his fires, and that's when you want to target him. Or at least press the Z button to dodge all of his shots and deflect it. Once you get to the center, That's when you unload on him. You're not winning this scuffle, old man. Awesome golden guns, but they are no match for my gun. In this match, it is important to charge it up, too. Because you can run out and then you'll be stuck in a bullet storm. Oh, no! Ah! Waggle, you failed me! Wow, that shoots you back far. It's 
all about landing the big shots on these bosses. Trying to get into those quick time challenge events are the best way to unload the most amount of damage on them. But as you can see, charge shots work pretty fucking well too. See, I don't really mind the battery recharging in the first game. It didn't seem to be too much of an issue. Just because it was so easy to recharge. But I do have a feeling it was because I did certain power-ups. Ah, so he was close to death. He did not want to be defeated. Don't kid yourself. Playtime is over. Any last words for us, old man? Next song I sing, I know my daughter will love. Won't you, darling? <laughs> Better practice my rap. Rap with me, Jennifer. Uh. It's open mic night in hell, old man. Sing all you want down there. The fool coming to a katana fight with a gun. Yeah, that slow bullet shot's not gonna take us out. Unless he was Black Cat, we had nothing to worry about. So the key about that fight is keep your cool and make sure your beam katana is charged. Congratulations. You are now ranked number nine. What'd you expect? Wait a minute. Are you getting a little sentimental? Still green, aren't you? You know this is only the beginning. Call me when the next one's arranged. Game set! And match! We've made it now to the next rank! Replacing Dr. Piss with Vladimir Z. Goodbye, Pesce! We're traveling up the ranks fast! We'll make it to number one in no time!